Welcome to Super Hostile number 7, Legendary. I'm Cleo and I'm playing this map and that's the map by Vex that you can find on the Minecraft forums. I'll put a link down in the thing down below. Um, rules. Survive any way you can think of. Use at least easy, never peaceful. Find and complete the victory monument. Don't use dice fall. <laughs> He's gone to us now. Good luck. Bollocks. That's that's a lie. Um, I hate you die in a fire. And I will. Many, many, many times. Okay. Uh, this is actually my second run through of this map. Um, mostly because I quit in a fit of nerd rage. So I went back and I did the starting cavern to see what I could do differently. It actually worked reasonably well this time. I only died seven times as opposed to the 22 times I died before um, which probably tells you that this is considered a humble start. Um, there are many areas and environments on the map. It's similar to Kaizo Caverns but with more variety which is good because Kaizo Caverns was a lot of um, caves basically, a bit like this one. Right, idiot test. There be some soul sand there. I think it's soul sand. I'm not too sure with my texture pack. However, I do want these torches. Anyway, I'm going to go and show you um, the various signs and what I've done. This is the SMP water pillar. Um, we're not to fish in it, apparently. But, you know, if it works, it works. Oh, yeah, I started tunnelling this out when I came round and I saw lots of skeletons and zombies and creepers on this area that I'm looking at directly here. So anyway, I started tunnelling with my fist um, through the sandstone and then I got bored and I thought, fuck it. Um, side note for LPers, YouTube is typically darker than your screen. Remember, extra torches for your viewers. That would be great if we had extra torches. As you can see, I have about seven in that massive area over there. You love lava, right? Actually, lava's not bad. This map contains 150% more signs. By the way, don't expect buckets anytime soon. Right, so, what we have here. No harvestable blocks yet, no sand or gravel uh, yet. Can't think of any way across the lava. This bridge wasn't here when I came. I, well, Vex was actually kind, and I'll show you what he meant in a minute. Um, guess you have to go into the creepy tunnel on the left. Yeah, this is supposed to be a jumping puzzle, but um, I don't trust Vex. So what I did was I went. Oh, there was a chest here which I also stole, and it had uh, man pants, uh, torches, and I can't remember what else it had. Um, oh, a piece of bread. You know, being generous. Anyway, so I tunnelled this t lava tunnel around here, around the lava, and this area was a lot of cobwebs. So I took some cobwebs and came down here. Hello, Mr. Spider. Um, yes. So I had got a load of spider webs. This area was clear. I think there's a spawner back there because it's only spiders coming out of that two by one gap as you would expect. So I blocked it up with spider webs after one of them killed me the first time. I think that was, um, that was death number one. And they can't get through. However, some seem to be spawning, ra spawning randomly around here in the dark. Um, oh, yeah, that's just lava. Um more cobwebs. In fact, I'm going to steal these now. Now I don't have to ration them because they're useful. Because they cause suffocation damage. Hooray for suffocation. They also block up lava. Okay, we came around the tunnel. Uh, surprisingly not dark. Um, more spider webs that I can steal. I left behind because I was thinking okay second run through I died a 
about 22 times. I sort of lost count after the 20th. And um, came around here. Uh, where am I going? Oh, I'm up here. Okay. So, these pressure pads. Oh shit, there's a, there's a skelly somewhere. Yeah. Oh, fuck you, bastard. Die! Okay. Pressure pads attached to sandstone do nothing. And yeah, they shit the life out of me the first time until I realised they do nothing. Oh, lava. darkness for skellies to spawn or zombies or whatever your fancy is right and then you come around and then you get greeted by a tree and lots of skeletons and this hole now what i did was i plugged this up with hole with hole with silk uh, like that and then i thought balls to it and tunneled around this way and then i did this because i i was still getting shot so I came up here and dropped down where I died uh, but I found these in the first run through and there were three holes up here and this is my now this is my skeleton trap now um, I died and then I came out here ran put this torch down and I died the third time, no, fourth time, I came around here, plugged up one hole with sandstone. It's this one, where I was panicking and getting shot, and I died. And then I plugged up the second hole and the third hole at the same time. At which point I died. Um, so I came back around here. I had I was sorry I was background in my little tunnel here and the skellies came after me and I, I sort of beat them to death here um, which gave me enough opportunity to run around and put some torches down down here and collect the tree oh fuck the spider okay so that's the remnants of my tree I'm assuming there's a wood block somewhere in there Anyway, the first thing I did before I um, went for the tree was lit the area up with torches as best as I could. And there's still a spider over here. And I'm really bad at this. I'm really bad at spiders. So, yeah, like, see? And I'm going to die on this one. Oh, no, maybe not. No, die! No, fuck off. Haha, silk. Anyway. After I did that, after I lit everything up, I did this. This is my skeleton farmer, which is two by two blocks with one hole, it, well, with a one by two hole in the middle, which lets the skeletons from the spawners through, but suffocates them before they can reach the ground. And there I get arrows and bones, and very, very happy about that I am. So, after that, you come over here, and it says, break this. There was a pile of gravel down here, which I broke, and it made the bridge that you can see here. And there's a sign there. I haven't seen that sign. Do I have a pick? No. Oh, this is all my gear, by the way. I have a lot of gear. I have very, very badly worn gear. I have a bow from the spiders that we saw in the little cave that I tunneled around to. Um, the arrows are coming from the skelly spawner back there, um, as are the bones. The trees, are, the saplings are obviously from the three trees that are in here. I made some ladders, I made some axes. Uh, there was a big pile of gravel, which I'll show you where I got that from in a minute. And the sword. Okay, I'll come back to you, sign because there's something down there. Okay. This contained a locked chest, which despawned when I placed it the second time, because I... Oh, hello tree. Hi. Um, the gravel came from here. 
Uh, in this corner, in fact, right here, there were three or four skelly spawner, not skelly spawners, creeper spawners. And around here was a load of gravel, which is now mined out. I The gravel started about here. I crept through back here, nearly got blue up here, down, around, and took out the skelly spawners from down here. Okay. Yes, my mining is rather haphazard, I'll be honest with you. Um, see, this is why I have this thing here. Lots of arrows. <laughs> Loads of arrows. Um, there was a second tree up on... Right, this tree dirt wasn't here. It was actually gravel, so I had to go all the way up here. Oh, yeah, and die horribly. I had to go all the way up here. And there was a tree on this ledge. And then I went all the way up here. And there was an even bigger tree. Up here. Oh, nearly fell off again. There was a bigger tree up here. Um, there's a lot of coal which I've not mined out yet. Because um, I found some down with that creeper spawner down there. And I haven't needed it yet. Although I will do probably soon. Okay. Back down to ladder. Uh, I think that might be everything, honestly. I love that sound. That sounds the best sound in the world. Okay. I also pillared up here with a lot of the wood and the gravel that I used. <laughs> with my last torches. I made this staircase, by the way. Right. Now, there's a big hole down here, which I filled with gravel to get around. And through there, maybe you can hear them. <coughs> oh, shit. Da -da -da. Sorry about that. I fell. Oh, go. Easy. Through here, if you can hear them, are a lot of spiders, and I suspect in the wall. There's a spider! There's a creeper! I don't know if you can see him. But he just shit the life out of me. Anyway, <laughs> there are spiders back here. And I filled in some holes here. And that was seven deaths from there to here. And I can't remember if I said about the last two. Can't remember anyway. Um. Seven deaths. Oh, good. You made it up here. I suppose you're not totally incompetent. Gee, thanks. Okay, let's get started with the real map now. Here we go. Starting with the real map. Into section one. And this is where I've not gone before. I'm on one heart, just from showing you around from four. Um... I'm going to go back and I'm going to mine some wood for a while and I'll pick it up when I get back to the intersection once I've got lots and lots of arrows and lots and lots of wood. I'll see you in a bit. <laughs> 